is a quick demonstration of the design problems with the Shark Navigator Pro. Uh, this vacuum here uh, has a, a plastic dustbin and uh, the sides of the dustbin get sucked inward if you try to generate too much suction with the vacuum. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate that here by turning it on. And if I put my hand over the attachment holes, watch what happens to the sides of the vacuum. Now if I turn the vacuum off, the plastic snaps fully back to shape, and if I turn it on again, you don't hear that sound. If I cover up the uh, entrance to the holes here to jack the suction up, rushes in around that gasket that comes loose. This happens because this dust bin is made out of pretty flimsy plastic and the base here, if I remove this, you'll see, is, uh, is all made entirely out of plastic and uh, the attachment here, which uh, holds the bottom shut, there's the gasket that comes loose and leaks air, is uh, extremely flimsy. This is just a plastic hinge and it's just held on with an absolute uh, minimum of uh, force that keeps that gasket sealed shut. So uh, if you do anything that requires much suction or generates much suction, you will get an air leak around that gasket. Now I think the designers of the Shark Navigator Pro are well aware of the suction problem. If you'll notice here on this uh, attachment tool, which is the, uh, the wand device, uh, about one third of the way from where the handle would go, there's a set of ports in the side of this tool. Now if you look at the end here, the end is a very small tip. And if you were vacuuming like a crevice, like around a windowsill or something, you'd generate a lot of suction and it would cause the bottom to make that noise that I just showed you where the gasket breaks loose. To prevent that from happening, they basically built an air leak into the middle of the wand on the sides where it can suck air in from both sides uh, to try to prevent that gasket at the bottom from leaking. So basically they uh, have defeated uh, some of the purpose of the wand by making it so that it leaks air part way down the handle in order to, call it, to fix the problem with the gasket sealing uh, down at the base of the unit. It's just a bad design. And uh, unfortunately, I can't even think of a way to, uh, to really uh, kludge it so that it works better.